Today I'm going to show you um, how to use the reinforcement feature from Ares. So I've set up just some blue boar guys in a few places around here uh, patrolling and then I'm going to simulate an attack with some AI. So um, the first thing with them is there's two um, main things you want to place down. There's um, LZs and RPs. Um, LZs are areas where troops will um, they'll take a transport in, they'll unload it in LZ, and then they'll move uh, on foot towards uh, RP. Um, so you can have multiple of both, um, so I'll demonstrate that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to want them to attack this base, so I want some troops to unload here by this house, and um, maybe some troops to unload over here on this other side. So I'll create two LZs um, a little ways out, and then um, I want them, once they've landed, to try to move to either that area or um, up this road over here. So um, the way this works is then I'm going to choose units I want to spawn, so I'll choose the spawn units thing, I'll come back a little bit where players won't quite be able to see, and um, I'll place it down here. Um, and this lets me choose what kind of units I want to actually create. So um, you can change the side that they're on, so CSAT is fine. Um, I'm going to do some land troops at first, so I'll do um, just some dedicated troop trucks. So the, the kind of vehicle that you choose here also determines how many guys go in. Um, unarmed and light vehicles obviously have the least amount of things, and the dedicated troop transport have the most amount of space, so they'll take the most people. Um, and you can choose whether or not you want armed or unarmed, and it'll kind of choose randomly um, to give a little variety in the vehicles that come in. So um, initially we'll just do some light vehicles. Um, and you can change the behavior after the vehicle drops off. You can have them come back and despawn, or you can have them stay at the LZ. This is pretty useful for um, armed vehicles if you want them to stay at the LZ and cover the units moving in. Um, you can choose how it changes, chooses the landing zone, which is the um, between all the all the ones that are available. Um, random is the default. You can choose nearest to where they spawn, farthest from where they spawn, or um, least used, which will try to distribute them evenly among the, the um, landing zones. Um, and you can do the same thing, choose the same options for the rally point, um, and it will choose based on nearest to where, they're, where they unload, farthest from where they unload, or the least used. So we're going to choose nearest to where they unload, try to get them to not, um, otherwise when I drop these guys here, they might head across this way and try to get to this RP. So I want them to head to the closer one, which is right here. Actually, this is a little bit closer, so I know it's for sure closer to there and there. So um, go back to the spawn units. Um, choose nearest for this. I'll do um, dedicated troop trucks, um, and I want them to kind of distribute evenly. So I want to go to each. So I'll just spawn two. Spawn truck there. So this happens. Spawn the same truck. You see it loaded them up with slightly different amounts. So one's going to go to LZ over here. You can see his waypoints are set. The other one's coming here. And these are the waypoints for the troops that are going to unload. Um, and head in to the LZs, or to the RPs. So you can change these um, once they've been created if you want them to adjust it slightly um, and change, say, I want these guys to kind of spread out a little bit more and I'll follow the same path. I can spread them out like that. These guys will leave the same. Um, and I'll do, make another LZ for some airborne troops here. Um, and I want the RP to head straight in. So what I'll do is, for this one, I'll spawn some airborne units back here. Um, I'm going to choose least use for both of these because I know there's troops headed to all the other ones, so I want them to be in those last two I've made. Um, and I will spawn an armed aircraft. Um, so this will spawn um, some hel a helicopter to go in. So here. Um, 
you can do unarmed light vehicle scouts, which are ATVs and trucks, armed light vehicles, which are things like hunters and um, ifrits, dedicated troop trucks, which you saw, which are the big troop transports, APCs, which are um, armor personnel and armed armed uh, armed vehicles, armed aircraft, um, armed helicopters, um, and two kinds of boats. The boats are a little bit buggy right now, but um, you can you have to manage their waypoints a little bit, but uh, they still do work pretty well.